be Takeshi Kimura as well. Kimura's got his hands full, as we know, with Andrew Harianto, who is still just about behind the bright yellow car guy Ferrari. But Ahmed Al Harty putting his head down now, trying to reel in the Porsche. He's done more than that. He will now overlap Christian Reed into the braking area. It's trickier it? to overtake. Oh, he's he's overdone it in turn 10. And off towards the gravel, did so well there, oh. not to end up in the stones. And Petra Belli had to check up as he was coming through to turn 10 to make sure he didn't T-bone the TF Sport Aston Martin. And it's a prototype competition, 1-2 all of a sudden. 77 from 93, Christian Reed from Michael Fassman. The toe down the main street. But this trade is allowing, there is uh, Christian Reed going through turn one. He's getting away a little with this battle here. Petra Belli to the outside this time. No way through this time, but the pressure is going to allow... It's Petra Belli, sorry, up the uh, inside of Al Harty this time. Is that the position that's going to change? Ferrari and Aston Martin side by side. And the Ferrari's going to get it here, Johnny. Oh. A little bit of a shove to the left as well for the Aston Martin, but that's GT Racing at the end of the day. The Ferrari is carrying some damage on the front right corner as well, and they almost exchanged door mirrors there, did Petrobelli and Ahmed al -Harti. Petrobelli running a touch wide coming out of Turn 5, down the hill through the rapid 6 and into the hard-breaking for Turn 7, but neat and tidy through there. He got virtually the move done, so I don't think the competition... has come back out a board on a number 60 car and now Petra Belli looking up the inside of Michael Fassbender the GMW man looking to make progress here and the guy oh, touches him now disaster that, that was absolutely I'm afraid that was on the Ferrari man and you have to be fully alongside. Michael's turning in. He was on the apex. That. Yeah, it was yeah. The, there was no gap. He was on the apex. I'm sorry, but that uh, you know, after a good spell from Giacomo Petrobelli, I'm calling that as an error from the Ferrari driver. And by the way, he lost the position to the Aston Martin in doing so. So he'll have been ruining that. Too early. Did he start to hit the throttle? before the red lights had been extinguished because remember there was massive pressure from behind from Sally Yolich. Was he on the wrong side of the track? Let's have a look at the qualification sheet and the grid. Well, he, uh, he needed to be on the right. So, side uh, by side here. Indeed. This is Diego Alessi under pressure from one Matteo Grifoni. He's been part of this effort with Duncan for as many years as I can remember back. Uh, we are, have got confirmation as to why Iron Lynx changed the door on the 60 car, by the way. That was because of contact, but not with the Aston Martin 69. Overlap again here to the inside line then for Matt Griffin, trying to get third position away from Diego Alessi. And on the brakes, confirmed into turn number seven. Yeah, he'd have enjoyed that without shadow of a doubt. Still, very much out all the sports. Moments up against it for a podium position. So, getting the run through the kink at 9, and at the very last moment to the inside line at 10, or there was a oh. lock-up and some more contact as well. These, uh, the Ferrari and Porsche are going to look very second-hand at the end of this race. A forceful, but...